it, it's hard to it's hard to really imagine what those emotions are going to be like and what the thoughts are going to be like when I finally see her standing there. Um, but um, yeah, it's, I know it's going to be a moment I'll never forget. I was waiting tables at the time, and these drinks came up, and I ran them to a table, dropped them off, and there were two girls sitting there. And uh, one of the girl girls sitting on the left, Joanna, she made a comment about my name tag to her friend, because I guess her friend had was going out with someone of the same name. It just became a little joke within them, and I'm like, hey, wait a second, like, why are you guys laughing? Like, what's wrong with my name? <laughs> you know, so I thought maybe there's something wrong with my name, Frank. It was just the, the short interaction that we had, I was like, kind of just, it just kind of stuck with me. Somehow in the conversation, she told me that she loved cats or that she was a cat lady. And I made a joke about her. I, was, I said something like, hey, you had me until you said you were a cat lady. She's like, who said I was interested or something like that. The rest of the night, I, I kept looking over at him and watching him, you know, as he's working. And at the end of the night, um, I told my, you know, my friend, I said, you know, should I leave him my number? And she's like, yeah, you know, what's, what's the worst that can happen? He doesn't call you, it's too big deal. On the back of my receipt, I wrote my phone number and I signed it off as Cat Lady. The next day, I texted her. The next day, I, I texted the number. Hey, you know, this is Frank. Uh, you know, from where I was working, and uh, is this Joanna the Cat Lady? Yeah, and that's how I knew it was him. And, uh, and yeah, and like I said, two weeks later, we had our first date, and it was the best last first date. It was fairly early on, maybe in the first six months. I remember I was sitting in my mom's bedroom and we were just chatting about him and I said, you know, I'm gonna marry him one day. And she just looked at me like, well, okay. <laughs> incredible day where we get to witness this incredible occasion. A lot of excitement. You know, we've, we've been working for this for so long that I think what I'm going to be feeling out of everything is excitement and anxiety. <laughs> and uh, I just, I think I'm going to be so happy to see him at the end of the aisle. I'm sure he's going to cry. I know he's going to cry. <laughs> I know he's gonna cry, um, and I'm sure I will. I'm a cry, but I cry for everything, so I'm sure I will be bawling. Um, but in, in, a, in out of happiness, uh, but I definitely expect to feel overjoyed with the decisions that we've made and what's brought us to this moment. With this ring, with this ring, I marry you. I marry you and bind my life to yours. Bind my life to yours. I remember putting her necklace on because she needed help. She was pulling her hair in. And I was putting her, clipping her necklace, her jewelry on, and I could see myself putting on her necklace before a date night, five years from now, 10 years from now. And you know, whether it's in our 50s or in our 60s, um, and me still putting on that necklace, you know, around her neck. And it gives me great pleasure to present to you Mr. and Mrs. Campos. Frank, you may kiss your bride.
I've disagreed on a bunch of things growing up. There is one thing we both agree on. Meeting Joanna is the single best thing that has happened to him in his life. Before he met Joanna, like, you know, some of us at a time in our lives, he felt disappointment and such discouragement. He felt marriage wasn't for him. But I saw the way he looked at her and the way that he spoke about her. I knew that things were about to change for the better. I'm a little tainted towards uh, love and relationships and right now, but uh, you guys gave me hope. But it showed me that two people truly love each other and nothing can keep them apart. To the bride and groom, everyone.